show you how to play the intro to Money for Nothing the right way. Now there are a million YouTube videos out there showing you how to play this tune, how, this, how to play this intro, and a lot of them are okay, but there are uh, again some subtle nuances, little tickety-boos, little dynamics, uh, really important things that most people don't hear when they're learning this stuff off of a record. Uh, my past videos that I've put out there about how to pick uh, stuff up off of a record is really important. Um, and there's tips about how to do that, what to listen for, and how to, how to find them. But I'm going to show you today, not, uh, not the basics of this tune, I'm going to assume that you know how to play the basics, where the fingering is, and that type of thing. I'm going to show you the subtle little things that most uh, instructors don't show you what Knopfler is doing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get at it and I'm going to change the camera angle here and get a close up of my fingers and show you, show you what's going on. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing we got to do with his thumb, what's happening, he's got his bass basically going consistent throughout the lick. It's not on every beat, but it's very consistent throughout the very first part at least, like this. for that neat harmonic. That. That right there is extremely important. So from here, right there, you hit the open third and lay the finger across that seventh fret to get that harmonic and then pick three and four open right after. Okay. Like that. Okay, right in the top is what we have so far. There, that was better. Okay, so now after that, we got a two-fingered pull-off here. Um, so 
So, right here, you pick it, you pull off both fingers to the open. And as you pull it off to the open, hit the open fourth right after. Just like that. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now, next, this is extremely important. You're going to hit the third fret, and a lot of guys will just lift the fingers and go to the fifth fret. No, no, do a slide. Like that. And cut it off short. Another critical part, which sounds really cool. Once you do that, slide back down from there to the third fret and pull it to open again. So you're going to pick it once, right here. Slide down, pull them off. So when you play it up to speed, it sounds like this. Critical, absolutely critical. Once you do that, the next part again is extremely important. So you're coming down from here, and then you're going to take your two fingers and you're going to basically hammer them back onto the original position on the fifth fret and the seventh fret where you start. You're going to hammer them on, you're not going to pick it, you're going to hammer them on from this slide pulled open. Just like that. And then you're going to pick them. Like that. Okay. And then once you get back to that position, you're back to this thing going on again. Okay. Same thing, you're doing that same at the end of that little second phrase. Same pull off, hit the open fourth right after, down to the five and four string on the third fret, and slide that up. Okay, that finishes that first phrase, and this is extremely important. When you slide up, you're going to hit the fourth string on the fifth fret to the open third, and then you're going to hammer on that third string on the seventh fret to start the phrase over again. Let's take that real slow. If I can do it slow, it's hard to do slow from the top, but I'll try it from the top as slow as I can. Cut some of those notes off, choke them off like he does. Let's take it from the top one more time, normal speed.
guys. I hope that helps. I hope I explained that okay. Be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my website at jwcollinsauthor.com. Check out my latest books. Uh, they're doing very, very well. And until next time, have the best day you can. Thank you.